Hi, and welcome to Unit 14 of World History 2, titled Nationalism and the Spread of Democracy. So in this unit, um, we're going to journey through um, the profound influence of liberty, equality, and nationalism on political revolutions that swept Europe, uh, examining the ripple effects of the American and French revolutions on Latin America, delving into the quest for independence in South America, led by the uh, famous figure of Simon Bolivar, navigating through the currents of German nationalism, and finally shedding light on the social and economic reforms enacted by the British Parliament in the 19th century. So, so we're going to start with the trio of liberty, equality, and nationalism that served as catalysts for political revolutions around the globe. So the late 18th century witnessed the American and French revolutions where the ideals of liberty and equality surged forth, challenging monarchical rule, especially that of absolute monarchy, as you might recall from Unit 13. These revolutions were not isolated incidents but sort of beacons that inspired movements worldwide. So an example of that would be in Latin America, where the echoes of those revolution reverberated profoundly. So the seeds of independence were sown as Latin American colonies, inspired by the democratic ideals of their northern counterparts, began clamoring for autonomy. Autonomy being sovereignty or the right to self-rule. So the revolution spread like wildfire, country to country, ultimately engulfing the region in a fervor for self-determination or self-rule. So in the heart of this Latin American struggle for independence stands uh, Simon Bolivar, a colossus whose vision and leadership played a pivotal role in, liberate, in liberating several South American nations. So. Bolivar's military prowess and unwavering commitment to the ideals of liberty and equality made him a central figure in the fight against Spanish colonial rule. His legacy endures as a testament to the power of a singular individual to shape the course of history. So, shifting our gaze a little bit to back to Europe, we encounter the uh, rise of German nationalism in the 19th century. The scattered German states, longing for a unified identity, found inspiration in the principles of nationalism. So nationalism being patriotism, love for one's own nation, one's own history, one's own background. Um, visionaries like Otto von Bismarck skillfully navigated the complex political landscape orchestrating the unification of Germany by 1871. The emergence of a unified Germany marked a watershed moment in European history. So then we will conclude the week with uh, in 19th century Britain, where the winds of change blew through the um, hallowed halls, you could say, of Parliament, faced uh, with the challenges of industrialization. Remember, this was at the time where the industrial revolution, industrial revolution had begun, and it had begun in Britain. So that brought about a lot of challenges, including the rights of workers, as well as pollution, as well as other factors such as urbanization and the neglect of rural areas. So Parliament, that is a form of government, not exactly the form of the executive uh, government that you would think of immediately when you think of government. Parliament is like the House of Representatives elected by a popular vote. So the English Parliament enacted a series of social and economic reforms to address the plight of the working class. So from labor laws to public health initiatives, uh, these policies and laws sought to alleviate the hardships brought about by rapid industrialization, uh, setting the stage for the evolution 
of British society. So as we draw things to a close, um, we're going to reflect on the interconnectedness of these diverse narratives. The quest for liberty, equality, and nationalism resonated across continents. Uh, it shaped the destinies of nations and individuals alike. Uh, the world today would not be the way it is without the uh, without holding these ideals to such a high standard. The struggles and triumphs of the past serve as a beacon of hope, um, illuminating a path um, by figures such as uh, Simon Bolivar, as we said, and by leaders and some unsung heroes, you might say. An unsung hero being a person who achieves nobles, noble things but might not receive the recognition that others might get. So we're talking about Otto von Bismarck and how he united Germany. Uh, we're talking about the English parliament and famous figures there who brought about uh, rights to the people. So this lesson this week is not going to be just a chronicle of events, but it's going to be like a thread about psychology it's going to be integrate some economics it's going to integrate some geography so i want to thank you and i look forward to working with you all in class and i hope that it will be a very good and productive second term thank you